What's up guys, it's Music Producer T Customs, back with another Ableton Live tutorial. I've had a couple requests come in about layering drum samples in Ableton Live drum racks, and so that's what I'm going to touch on today. Uh, from my experience, I would say layering drum samples is probably the most straightforward way to thicken up or fatten your drum tracks. There's different techniques to layering drum samples, but usually it's just finding multiple drum stabs and layering them over top of each other. Uh, one technique for layering drums would be to have multiple tracks, and then you just put load a, a drum sample in each track, and so you have multiple drum tracks that, that play simultaneously when you play your track through. Uh, this technique that I'm going to show you kind of consolidates all those drum samples into a single drum rack. That way you have all your drums in one place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple drum samples from uh, my drum sample pack volume 2 and show you how to layer those inside of Ableton drum rack. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag over a drum rack. I've got a MIDI track already set up and I'm just going to drag over a drum rack to it. Now I'm going to drag over a snare hit and a clap. And this is a snare 21 and 22 is a clap. So now I've got these two samples mapped to my drum pad so I can trigger those. I'm triggering those now from my MPD32 controller. Now what I want to do is I want to be able to hit a single pad and trigger both of those samples at the same time. So to do that, the first thing you want to do is you want to click this show hide chain list button. And then you want to click this input output. Now you can see over here in the chain list that snare 21 is on C sharp 1, which is this second pad here. Snare 22, which is our clap, is on D1, which is this pad here. Now what I want to do is I want to have those both triggered by C sharp 1, which is the second pad. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click the receive drop down on snare 22 and click C sharp 1. And so now in the chain list you see that the receive are both on C sharp 1. And now over here in the drum rack you see there's a multi on C sharp 1. And so now both samples can be triggered from one pad. Now another thing you can do is adjust the velocities or the volumes on each of the drum samples. So what I'm going to do is bring up the volume of the clap so it's a little more predominant. So now the clap stands out a little bit more. Another thing to keep in mind is you can still process each of the drum samples independently. They are in their own simpler or sampler depending on which one you're using. You still have the independent control of each sampler as well as adding other effects if you want to put reverb on one of the samples or a number of things you can do with it. So I could layer more drum samples over top of those two or I could set up another drum layer. So again, there are other ways that you can layer your drum samples. This is just one way that I found pretty intuitive and easy to do, especially since it allows you to trigger multiple samples from a single MIDI trigger. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. I still have a list of about five or six other topics that I'm planning to cover, uh, requests that came in previously. I haven't forgot about the baseline tutorial part two. That's coming as well. Uh, please take time out to like the video and comment. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Uh, you can like the Facebook page for free music tips for recording artists and music producers. Just some things that I've kind of learned along the way. And again, thanks to everyone who's watching and for the continued support. Happy beat making. Peace.